Here's the coffee, Mama. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. Good. Hey, Mama. Mm hmm? Darren and I were talking last week. Oh, not last week, sorry, this week. Whoops, he's moved the chair. Um, and he said, what was, what is the main reason why you want to have a YouTube channel? Yeah, so what is the main reason? Well, to advocate for people with hydrocephalus. And he said, do you think you're doing that? And I said, not really. And I was really honest, because I knew that I wasn't doing it. Yep. Um, but I didn't know how to advocate for it, because I, my, my understanding of hydrocephalus is so little that I didn't want to say things that I didn't think were mm. untrue or false, you know. So he said he made, he made a really cool idea and suggestion that maybe talking a little bit about my experiences in some of my blogs and some of it could be with themes like like athletics for instance, you know, co oh, okay. coordination or mm -hmm. or um, just... And okay, what do you think about that? I think that's a really good idea, just because it kind of eases into yeah. talking about hydrocephalus, but I don't know, um, I wouldn't have a clue where to start, but that's why I wanted to talk to you because I had, my, I had a question last night and I thought, what was it like for you as a mum with a kid with hydrocephalus? It's mm. a good question really, not many people actually ask that. What about, um, I guess, the hydrocephalus part, being a mum of somebody with hydrocephalus, yeah. wasn't hard. No. Because once I got the hang of what a blocked shunt was, what the symptoms were and stuff, mm. I just knew what they were. Yeah. It was hard when you went to places like daycare, mm. and so they were nervous that your shunt would be blocked, mm. and they would send you home at the tiniest little thing. No, they, had, they didn't want me there anyway, so... No, not really. <laughs> but then, I guess, it was harder for me as a mum mm. with a child with different abilities, I yeah. guess. Yeah. And it was hard for me because you didn't really understand mm. that you had different abilities yeah. than other people. Mm. And so, it used to really hurt me when you didn't get invited to birthday parties. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And you didn't have friends. I guess it didn't really, it, did it, do you think it went over my head? Yeah. Yeah. It totally went over your head and you didn't have friends. So I used to really hurt when all the kids in the class were being invited to a birthday party. Right. And you didn't, but you didn't seem to, didn't seem to bother you. <laughs> when I look back, yeah. it was much harder for yeah. me than it was for you. So, yeah, that's cool. We, 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 um, we talked a lot about this question um, because I know that you had dreams of you becoming a gymnast mm -hmm. and stuff. How did you come to terms with, well, if that's not Hayley, you know, like how, like, let Hayley be and grow? I guess, I guess every mum yeah. wants their passion yeah. Yeah. to flow through into their children and so you share that same passion. That's the absolute ultimate. And then like their children go on to the yep. like that. And being involved in sport and gymnastics and swimming and all the things that were yeah that I enjoyed as a child yeah. I wanted you to experience and enjoy but it took a long time mm. for me to realize that I couldn't choose who you were going to be and what your passion was going to be did that hurt you like, I was disappointed yeah I was disappointed that my girl didn't want to be a gymnast yeah <laughs> but now mm. I can see that your passion is people and your passion is videoing and singing and drama and theatre and all those things. And running. And yeah, and your new passion yeah. is running. So it's exciting for me to see you finding your own passion and running with it mm. and developing it. And that makes me more happy than anything yeah. because I can see that you're fulfilled in your life. Did, did you ever think that your, your girl would be running park east because, because no because I remember the little girl at preschool <laughs> running the cross country uh, 
with Dad running over the finish line with you oh. about 10 minutes after everybody else had finished. <laughs> Well, I trained a lot. I've trained. But yeah, you haven't only trained, though. You've had to develop your muscles and coordination. I've always and your flexibility and stuff to be able to run. Yeah. So I know that T two, the T one event is coming up. I've mm -hmm. talked a lot about that in my vlogs. So have you explained what T one is? No, not really. So do you know what a T one is? Qualifying for a T two, so that I can go into the nation. <laughs> That's all I know. Okay. So, a T1 event yeah. means it's a one-day event. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a one-day event, and it's a ribbon day. Mm -hmm. So there's not medals and things, you get ribbons. I, I, know, I know about the ribbons. Though. And you must attend a T1 event before you can attend a two, T, T2 event, Tier 2 event. And a Tier 2 event is a two-day yeah. event. Yep, got yep, that? Got that. Yep. <laughs> and then you get medals. And, and then you get medals, and then you and, post on. And you stay overnight with your team. And yeah, stuff. that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Hey. So that's going to be exciting, but that's in Auckland coming up. In March. In March. Yeah. But this month, February. no, next month. Yeah. Next month is your first T1. Yeah, so I started athletics. I started athletics on Sunday. Sweet. That's a long one to know. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Mum. <laughs> well, you got it. Thanks for watching this little chat with Mum. Please like and subscribe. And if you are new to the Hydra Fam, a big welcome to you. It is always cool to have new subscribers and followers on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If you have any suggestions that you would like me to talk about with Mum or with Darren or with anyone, please like, please tell me in the comments below. I'm always keen for new ideas. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.